Hi guys, this is RC from Abby Pai and today I'm going to teach you how to activate the in-app purchase in your app. Now the in-app purchase page looks a little complicated but it's actually very very simple. You've got three payment methods here. You could use the in-app purchase or the PayPal payment or you could even use the free option. Now when you go to in-app purchase, you've got two options that you could choose. One is the Google Store payment, which is the Android payment credential, and the other one would be the Apple Store, which is the iTunes Store and the iPhone payment credential. For both of these, you would be needing the bundle IDs. The bundle IDs would be available to you once you get into the developer and account and use that ID to create one. Now, the process is very, very simple. Log into your development account through the google.com site. Select your app in all application tab and then click on the in-app products. Now you click on the add new product and put in the product ID and click on continue. Now you have to complete the form by putting in the app name, the app description and the price. Once you have done that, click on save and make this drop down active. Now your IP product ID is activated. Submit this ID to appypie.com. Create the rest of the IDs, the monthly, yearly ones, with the same method. For the public key, go to the services and API section and see this code here and simply copy and paste. Here, here. All right. Once your IDs are generated, next think of the payment plan in terms of whether it is recurring or it is a one-time payment. Now to give you a good example, if you're planning to sell an album of tracks, you will have to use a one-time payment option. But if you're planning to sell individual tracks, you will be using the recurring payment option. Here too, you'll have to specify whether it's going to be monthly, a yearly or a price per edition. Select the currency that you're looking at. Put in a description. All right. You can put in an edition name and a summary. You could add a month and the most interesting part, an image. All right, beautiful. You could put in the sample version edition here from your computer. And then the full version of the edition. So if you have a track for which you just want to show uh, the first uh, the first 10 seconds and you can put the sample version here and the full version would have to be made available here you can decide whether you want to make this edition your feature edition or you could add one more edition and make that the feature edition so the feature edition is what you see here first so I'm going to keep that as a feature edition and add one more. So I'll say track two. Give it a summary and a month and an image. I can give the sample version here and the full version here.
all right this is how it looks great so you can either subscribe monthly or yearly or you could buy this particular edition for a cost you can see the preview here and to save and edit and it's done